Good morning, good morning. Happy Sunday, everybody. Happy Sunday. Good morning. Good morning, Tanette. Good morning, homespun life. Good morning, twas cake. Ooh. Good morning. Happy Sunday. Happy Sunday. How's everybody doing this morning? I just want to give people a little bit of time to jump in before I get started. Good morning. Yes, I'm going to tell you the truth. I'm, I'm up, but I'm sure enough not getting ready. <laughs> I got a little bit of time, though. It shouldn't take me long. Good, good, good to hear everybody. It's great. Awesome, awesome. Today is Sunday. It is August the 23rd. And we're going to be in the book of Isaiah today. Chapter 26, verses 1 through 5. Hey, Kiki. In that day shall this song be sung in the land of Judah. We have a strong city. Salvation will God appoint for walls and bulwarks. Open ye the gates, that the righteous nation which keepeth the truth may enter in. Thou wilt keep him in perfect peace, whose mind is stayed on thee, because he trusteth in thee. Trust ye in the Lord forever, for in the Lord Jehovah is everlasting strength. For he bringeth down them that dwell on high, the lofty city, he layeth it low. He layeth it low, even to the ground. He bringeth it even to the dust. That is the scripture for today, one, verses 1 through 5. Um, sing, this is Israel's song. This is, they sing this song in the land of Judah, of how God would keep them. And just so you know, you know um, a lot of times we feel like our communities are so safe, we move into the suburbs and we change our children's schools because they have a good reputation. But I want you to know that the Lord keeps a city. The watchman watches in vain. And to know that God is here to keep us. He is here to give us peace. He's here that we can have joy and uh, hope in him. But first you have to trust in the Lord. Trust him with your whole heart. Trust him with every area of your life. Whether it's your romantic life, your family life, your work life, your emotional, your psych psychological, anything that uh, concerns you, you need to tr put it in the hands of the Lord and trust him with it. Your uh, your business, your career, your, uh, your ministry, your um, children, you need to trust God with that. Sometimes we feel like because we are doing the quote unquote right things or we're doing uh the right actions that the result should be a, the great result but you have no control over the result you ever uh see a family full of children let's say they had four children um they all grew up in the same house they all had the same parents they all had the same upbringing but every child turns out a little different and every person has a different interpretation of their childhood um uh, one example is my, my brother. My brother is the youngest of the three of us. And uh, my god sister is two years younger than me, and we used to uh, play around. Now, according to him, we beat him up and bullied him all the time. Um, half the time, he couldn't be found because he had his face in a book locked in a room somewhere. So I didn't call it all the time. And there's this one instance where we sort of like tied him to a tree with a jump rope and put barrettes in his hair. And that was one time. But in his mind, it was all the time. And I'm like, it wasn't all the time. But we experienced the same thing, but we interpreted it different. Um, so we... <laughs> so when we were raising our children, when we were raising our children, we take them and we give them the word of God. And we take them to church. We put them in Sunday school. And they participate in the youth department. And they learn scripture. And they have the chores. And they have the same rules. They have the same curfew. But their interpretation of what goes on in the house is different. 
their interpretation of the word of God, the realness of God, the truth of God will be different. Uh, so we have to trust God to do the work. Uh, we can plant the seed, but it takes God to do the work. He'll, he'll grow it. He'll, he'll let the water uh, come in and, for, and, uh, and nurture that seed and let it grow to what it needs to be. So we have to trust the Lord in it. We have to trust the Lord in it. Uh, sometimes we feel like because we, uh, I was that child, you know, I was a good child. I was on the honor roll. I got good grades. So I felt like certain things I should just, I should just have. <laughs> See, there's some things, thank God for confirmation. Some things that I, we feel like because I've done the right things, I should just have. And my mom was like, no, that's your job. You to go to school, you to get good grades. It doesn't mean regarding interpretation, right? Uh, it doesn't mean that you automatically receive or things are going to work out the way you think they're going to. So even as an adult, we know that just because you work hard, just because you bring your paycheck home, doesn't mean the money always stretches. It doesn't mean that everything is ever always done uh, right. You know, you need when you own a home, when you're talking about getting roof repairs and getting door repairs and kids need shoes and the water bill need to be paid, the taxes are due. Um, and you've done what is right doesn't mean that those bills don't come due and it's enough money. But when you trust it in the hands of the Lord, he will work it all out. So it is up to us to do all that that needs to be done to, to whatever we're doing to trust into the Lord so he can do what needs to be done. Even in our salvation, you know, sometimes we feel like I pray and I read the word. Why does the enemy attack me like this? You know, sometimes we feel like we've done something so wrong or it is a consequence of some disobedience to the Lord. But even in that chastising or even in that trial, even in that going through, we will trust the outcome to the Lord because we're going to have tests. We're going to have trials. We're going to um, have consequences to our actions. But it doesn't mean that the Lord has left you. So it's up to us to trust ye in the Lord forever. Not just today, not just tomorrow, but for the rest of your life. Trust in the Lord. Uh, he is the everlasting strength. It says, for the Lord Jehovah is everlasting strength. There is strength in the Lord. A lot of times we feel like we can't take something, but you, you'll never be surprised what you can take. What you can take. And when that hard thing comes, you can take that and some more. Because you have the strength of the Lord inside of you. You have the Holy Spirit inside of you that will gird you up and strengthen you for this time. Well, I got to do the work and it seems like everything is so hard. But he will strengthen you as you strengthen your heart. And he will give you strength to stand. He'll give you strength to stand. Uh, I know our church mother said, you know, the saints live with uh, things other people die with. Well, you know, saints go through things that other people die from or lose their mind from. The fact that you've gone through so much and haven't lost your mind is a miracle. The fact that even though you're still going through that, the Lord is taking you through that. I had to pause because I'm sitting next to my door in my apartment and I think somebody's in the hallway is whistling and it just threw me for a minute. Um, but God is with us. He's here to strengthen us. He here, he's here to take us through. So we got to trust in the Lord because he's going to keep us. He's going to keep us and that we will be found uh, pleasing him if we just trust him. Just trust him with everything. Um, and, then, and then pray for your, your children and your family and people to, to receive the word. You know, sometimes you give a word to somebody and you say something. Uh, and on Periscope, it's funny because uh, sometimes people are, uh, say, I type something in as a comment and the person reads it and they'll say something. Then they'll say something and then they think about it. Oh, that wasn't the right response. They meant this. And so they have to go back and respond again. That interpretation is something that is strong. So we have to trust the Lord with our... Um, with our lives and with the things that we do, the work of our hands and the ministry that he's given us to know that sometimes we may work so hard in the ministry, but unless the Lord bless it, unless he give us wisdom and understanding in it, it will not grow uh, as he sees fit. And that's another thing that what we believe will come out of a certain thing. We have to t check our expectation. Um, the expectation is for God to do the work and for God to, uh, and for Jesus to give us the strength to do the work and, do, and that it 
brings the fruit that he wants, not the fruit that we want. Um, we feel like if we do ministry and we start um, a women's ministry that we're going to have all kinds of, like a hundred women come in off the street and this, that, and the third. Not saying that that's not a good thing, but sometimes your ministry may be for the 10 or 15 women in your church to grow so that they can go reach 10 or 15 women and then they can reach 10 or 15 more women to grow like that. So it's up to us to have not just expectation of in our mind of what success is, but to trust God with it and to have the success that he wants to get out of it. So I praise and thank the Lord for the scripture on today. So I want you to trust the Lord. Uh, and when you make it to service on today or before you make it to service on today, to start praising him for working things out the way he wants them to work out. You know, sometimes uh, the Lord don't move because we've tied his hands because of our expectation. We've put God in a box. Uh, you know, we believe God can heal this, but he can't heal that. We believe God can do this, but he can't do that. No, God is able to do anything but fail. He can do all things. He can do all things. If God, there is nothing that is impossible. All things are possible with God. All things are possible. So praise him for the possibility of a thing on today. Praise him for the possibility of change, the possibility of growth, the possibility to, um, to reach someone. For the situation to be turned around and changed, for things to be canceled, for things to be created, for things to come forth and things to go back. Uh, trust him for it on today. Praise him for it. Uh, Tasha Cox said, give him that Christmas praise. You know that praise when you're so surprised you can't say thank you, you just holler in the middle of the street uh, or in the house. You just holler when you open a box. Um, the other day, my instructor called and told me I got uh, a score on my test. Well, she didn't call me. She texted me with a score on my test, and I'm in the drive through and I would be screaming um, because I was surprised. Give the Lord that kind of praise. You know, not that it's, oh, Lord, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. But uh, just go all out on today. Just go all out on today um, and expect a great thing from the Lord on today because God is good. He's been good to us. I thank you for joining me on today. Thank you all for taking your time out of your Sunday morning to join me for the daily devotion. I apologize for being a little bit late, um, but I appreciate your time and I appreciate your participation and your sharing um, and your participation. It is wonderful to see you here on this morning. I love you with the love of the Lord. I pray that the Lord goes with you to service on today. And don't wait for your neighbor to praise the Lord. You praise him and be an example to somebody else uh, that you will receive a great word that your pastors may have or whoever is preaching this morning have wonderful strength. The Netherlands, thank you for joining us from the Netherlands. I pray that uh, who's ever preaching on today has the strength of the Lord, that they'll be able to expound the word of the Lord and have clarity of thought and be able to speak a word to each and everyone's life that the, it will take root into your life and it will grow and uh, grow in you the way the Lord desires it to be. Um, I pray that the Lord bless the path of your feet on today, the work of your hands and the words of your mouth, that he'll be a hedge of protection around you and keep you and let the blood of Jesus cover you, that it will make you whole and perfect in his sight. And I thank you and I appreciate you. Uh, feel free to watch the replay. If the replay expires, please be sure to go and watch them on YouTube. The YouTube channel is Sheetaboo930. That's S-H-E-E-T-A-B-O-O-930 on YouTube.com. And I will talk to you later. Thank you. Bye-bye.